Hello everybody and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearances of the Week. This is Wednesday, August 10th, 2022. We'll be giving you all the first appearances in your comic shops today. Now this week we have a pretty light week for you guys. I think we only have two first appearances, seven honorable mentions, so only nine titles in all to go through, but definitely some books in here you want to pick up for your collection. So let's go ahead and get started for the first appearances of the week, week ending August 12th, 2022. First up from Marvel Comics, Avengers number 59. This features the first full appearance of Reno Phoenix and the star brand Kid. They had a previous cameo in Avengers 50. Now, we always say with Marvel titles, it's good to pick up any first appearance of new characters. You know, Marvel Disney is still churning out a ton of media for these franchises. And Avengers is one of their strongest, most heavily collected, most popular franchises. And this is the first full appearance of two new characters within this title series. So this one here is definitely worth picking up and add to your collection. Go ahead and grab this one. And lastly, from Marvel Comics, Ghost Rider Vengeance Forever number 1. This features the first appearance of Necro the Tattooist, a seer who uses his needle to discover truth. Once again, this is the first appearance of a new character in a Marvel title, and Ghost Rider has a huge fan base, huge collector base, and Ghost Rider is going through a rebranding phase. A lot of people are getting into this series, and this is the first appearance of this character in this new Ghost Rider series. So in our opinion, this one here is worth picking up. Go ahead and grab this one. And now for the honorable mentions. From Image Comics, the Deadliest Bouquet Number 1. Three sisters must set aside long-time rivalries to solve their mother's murder. We always say this with Image Comics, you know, they've had a lot of their titles picked up in the past and option for TV shows, streaming series, or feature films, and that's a huge driver for their titles. And this one here sounds like it lends itself very well, especially to a streaming series. So in our opinion, this one here is definitely worth picking up the spec on for the cover price. You know, you don't want to go back and try to buy this later on at a higher price. So go ahead and grab this one here if you can. If you can't, put on your B-list, but definitely keep an eye on it. Next up from Image Comics, Love Everlasting number one. In this ongoing romance series, a woman discovers that she is trapped in an endless cycle, a problem to be solved, a man to marry, and every time she falls in love, she disappears into another Terry saga. Now this here is a modern romance series by Image Comics. It's really interesting for them to bring back a romance series in this day and age. You know, romance comics, very, very popular during the golden age. They had a huge fan base, huge collector base back then. Very curious to see how it's going to fare in today's market, especially with most of the attention on superhero series. But who knows, this could blow up and become huge, or once again, it may go nowhere. This one here is definitely going to be a speculative bet if you choose to pick it up. If you can, go ahead and grab this one just for a spec bet. If you can't, put it in your B-list and take a look at it later. Next up from Abstract Comics, Parker Girls number 1. A trio of operatives set out to solve a murder case of a beloved actress being covered up by her billionaire husband. Now this one here sounds like it could lend itself very, very well to a small screen, big screen project, but Abstract Comics hasn't really had a lot of their titles picked up an option in the past. Once again, though, that doesn't really mean anything for the future. This story here does sound like it could lend itself very well to the screen. Now this is definitely going to be speculative if you choose to pick it up, but in our opinion, it's probably worth picking up for the cover price. Go ahead and grab this one here if you can, but if you can't, put in your B-list, but definitely keep an eye on this one. Next up from Aftershock Comics, Samurai Doggy number one. After the fourth War of the Sun, Doggy was left for dead, but now seeks revenge against the greatest empire of machines and robots that has ever existed. Now, this sounds like it could lend itself very well to a small screen, big screen project, and Aftershock Comics has had a lot of their titles picked up an option in the past, so this one here, in our opinion, is definitely worth picking up the spec on. Definitely going to be a speculative bet if you choose to pick it up, but this is one that we do think has some promise. Go ahead and grab this one here if you can. If you can't, put it in your B-list, but definitely keep an eye on it. Next up from DC Comics, Superman Son of Kal-El number 14. This features a debut of Jay Nakamura's superhero costume. Now this particular title series, Superman Son of Kal-El, has definitely been controversial, and it does have a collector base for that particular reason. We really don't know how important these characters are going to be that they're introducing into this particular series. We don't know how important this character is going to be in the DCU or going forward, you know, out into the future. We really don't know how important popular or important they're going to be. This is the debut of Jay Nakamura's superhero costume. Now this one here may be worth picking up, but we do think you have some time on this one. You can put this one here on your B-list for now, but keep an eye on it. Next up from Marvel Comics, Amazing Spider-Man number 7. This features the debut of Oscorp's Spider-Man suit. This is seen but not worn in this particular issue. Now with the new feature films from Marvel and Disney, the Amazing Spider-Man feature films, you know, they do draw a lot from these contemporary comics, and this is the debut of the Oscorp Spider-Man suit. So this one here may be something that appears on the screen, and if it does, it's going to be a big driver for people to go back and get the first appearance of this particular outfit in the comics. So this one here, in our opinion, is definitely worth picking up the spec on. Go ahead and grab this one here if you can. And finally from Marvel Comics, Predator number one. This is the first issue of Predator being published by Marvel Comics. Now, the fact that Marvel, Disney are starting to 
publish the Predator franchise, probably a big deal. That means they probably are cooking something up for a feature film or streaming series. And if they do, they're probably going to draw from the material being produced in these Marvel comics. So this one here is definitely a speculative bet if you choose to pick it up. And in our opinion, it's probably worth doing so. You know, Marvel Disney, they're a powerhouse. They're still churning out a ton of feature film, streaming series, TV shows. And in fact, now that they're publishing Predator comics, probably a good sign to pick this one here up. Go ahead and grab this one here if you can. So there you have the nine titles that we have for you guys this week. Definitely some books in there you want to pick up for your collection. Please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.